So today we're going to talk about a gaming chair versus a traditionally recommended chair like a Herman Miller or a steel case chair. I'm going to tell you guys what I think the difference is, when it's worth it to get these type of chairs, as well as everything that you need to know. So let's get started. <music> Hey guys, Tiago here. So gaming chairs have been sort of the craze during the last few years. A lot of people will see very famous streamers with them and, and people on Twitch and even on YouTube. Certainly they have their aesthetic appeal. I've also tried gaming chairs. I've tried a different couple ones so far. And of course, I've also tried the different traditional chairs. And I think there are pluses and minuses to choosing both a traditional chair as well as a gaming chair. Now, everybody's body is going to be different as well. So today we're going to talk about out basically three chairs the first one is going to be the gaming chair it's this one that i'm sitting on right now this is a killer b chair and this chair they actually sent me in order to evaluate and review i'm gonna compare it to the herman miller aaron which is a very very popular chair it's even in the modern museum of art basically a lot of people recommend these chairs online they're a little bit expensive if you buy them new but as i did i purchased mine used and i was able to get a very good deal on it basically it came down pretty close to the price of a gaming chair like this a couple of hundred dollars much cheaper than when it's new and the third chair is going to be the steel case leap it's probably the second most recommended chair compared to the herman miller aaron so we're going to talk about these three chairs we're going to talk about sort of the aesthetics the ergonomics how they feel as well as the build quality and features and things like that so first let's talk about the easy one the aesthetics now if it's a gaming chair like this where it's just sort of like the black leather it's definitely pretty under stated it doesn't have those crazy colors that some do so you can definitely use this in the professional environment of course the herman miller aaron or the steel case they have their own very unique and individual design but they definitely look like they belong in an office much more than something like this which can serve a little bit more of a dual purpose of course the gaming chair definitely something like this is going to be a little bit bigger has a little bit more presence and that's something you have to keep in mind in terms of the aesthetics now let's talk about the actual comfort when you're sitting down in the chair that's going to be basically the most important thing doesn't matter what the chair looks like now the first chair that i actually got was the herman miller aaron and while i love the idea of it the chair actually feels great when i sit down for a little while the herman miller aaron while it's very comfortable for a lot of people even people that have sat in my own chair they've really liked it i found that for myself it's a little bit too uncomfortable i just found sort of the seat a little bit too rigid it has that hard plastic and it can even give some people sciatica and some back pain if you're not careful i had some of that as well every time i would use this chair i would have some type of back pain so after trying out this herman millen chair and it's highly recommended it may fit for your body but for me unfortunately it didn't that's why i went and i tried the other chair in our lineup and that's going to be the steel case leap now it doesn't look as cool or snazzy as sort of this herman miller chair but it is a lot softer and i found it actually more comfortable for my body how does the gaming chair compare well, this is going to be a little bit surprising because at least for me, I find the gaming chair actually a lot more comfortable. The Herman Miller, it just it just doesn't work with me. The you know plastic is too rigid. Even if you're sitting and working or playing games, the steel case actually feels really nice. That would be my second choice. But in terms of comfort, I mean, look at the gaming chair. You're going to have sort of your headrest. You have a little backrest. The seat is, is wide. I'm a little bit bigger, so the seat fits a little bit better. The seat is certainly a lot more plush, but it's still pretty supportive. So in general, just for myself i found it to be a lot more comfortable sitting in a chair like this now maybe for like somebody who's just in an office working the herman miller or the steel case may be a little bit more task oriented if you're just sitting up but this will give you a lot more flexibility for you know going in different positions and moving back so in general i like the comfort of gaming chairs they're a little bit softer and a little bit less task oriented than something like these other office chairs and how about in the build quality? Now, absolutely, I can't fault the Herman Miller Aaron. The one I have is several years old, and the build quality is insanely good. Once the pneumatic piece on it actually did end up breaking, but it was very easy to find a replacement part on eBay, switch it out, and the chair has been pretty much flawless ever since then. Everything feels very, very high quality, so no issues there. Now, the steel case leap, it feels a little bit less high quality than the Herman Miller Aaron, and even when you look at it it looks more like a typical traditional chair but still i haven't had any issues with it build quality seems to be stellar as well 
And now the gaming chair, this killer bee one specifically, I thought that it was also very high build quality. Of course, it's not going to compare to the Herman Miller chair. That one is just put together in a very, very solid way. This one's going to have more moving parts. It has the little footrest piece that comes out. So definitely has a little bit more latitude and sort of the movement in the way that it moves. But overall, the materials feel very high quality. Build quality feels great. I would say it's not too far off from the steel case build quality. Both of them seem to be equally as solid and of course here the herman miller has to win just because that chair really is built like a tank and then finally in terms of features that actually make sense now the herman miller does have lumbar support but it doesn't have too much support for your head or anything like that and you do have a lot of adjustments as well as on the steel case chair as well as the steel case sleep you have you know plenty of adjustments up and down you can sort of put the spring tension when you move up and down but this is going to be a place where these gaming chairs definitely specialize in and a little bit crazier features for example the little lumbar support you can actually plug it into usb and, and it gives you a little bit of a vibration sort of a, a little massage when you're gaming or working or anything like that and of course it also comes with a little pillow for the back of your head like i have it here not to mention a little footrest you can pop out and sit on it almost like a barber's chair or something like that if you want to take a nap on it it's actually very very comfortable so it's certainly gonna have a lot of features sometimes a lot more features than a traditional office chair one thing about the herman miller and the leap at least those particular chairs the armrests are a little bit more adjustable this these armrests in particular they're kind of stationary some chairs will have it where you can move the armrests out and up and down so i would say that's only sort of the only drawback of this particular chair but i found that the other adjustments are definitely superior to most other chairs that I tried and when you have a gaming chair you definitely want those little nice cool features so when it's something like a gaming chair it's nice for it to have these little different features that way you can sort of you know have a more enjoyable experience if you're in several different positions and not just upright like you would be in an office environment so overall I think chairs are very individual for particular people you would choose a chair like this if you really first you want that sort of gaming aesthetic and it definitely is very very comfortable you have some really nice and cool features not really overly expensive at all i'm also going to leave a link below and like i said they did send me this chair in order to evaluate and review the other office chairs i just had already those two other chairs that i mentioned today as well they're also fantastic if you feel comfortable in them i would urge you to maybe go to a store and try them out like me i thought i was going to love that herman miller chair even though i like the design and the build quality really at the end of the day wasn't very comfortable and i had to go search for other solutions that would be a lot more comfortable that's just going to be up to the individual some people love that chair and can sit in it all day without any issues so it's certainly up to your own body definitely if you want a gaming chair these are going to have really nice aesthetics and features so that's certainly something to keep in mind when you're trying to choose between a gaming chair and office chairs just sort of look at what's going to be comfortable for your body and what sort of aesthetic you want to go in with whatever room you're trying to put it in all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe and smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video